Hello and welcome back to the day three of my journey to become full stack developer in 2024. In today's video, I will be working on Figma to create a layout for my website and then I will go back to the coding and HTML and I will code to create that layout. So in previous video, we went into Figma and then we created a desktop layout. I changed the name in the previous video, it was like desktop one. I changed the name to homepage. Okay, and then we created a rectangle saying this will be our nav bar. And then we, when we went into the code, we created a nav bar in, uh, in, in, in our code here. So we used bootstrap CSS. We used a code from the bootstrap to create our pages. Now, what we do today, what we will be working on it today is I will continue creating the layout for my uh, page. So first I want to give it a background color, which we'll get from the bootstrap. And I will say, uh, I will find for the colors. So bootstrap has plenty of colors here. And then example is here at the bottom. Primary color is something I'm looking for. Okay, so here in the colors here. So I'm looking for those colors um, uh, like they are used for text, for uh, for backgrounds, for buttons, for those things. And I will be using the first color, which is primary. And I need to get its exact same color code so I can create this in Figma. So when I scroll down, the first color I see here is the for, for the primary. I will copy this color code and I'll go back to the Figma and I paste here for the color for this, this block. So when I paste the color, I now have a background color, which is blue. So I'll go to the code in the nav bar. On the top, we have the, uh, in the class, but in nav bar class, we have background color, which is body and territory. Uh, however you spell it, I pronounce it. <laughs> okay, so I will change this and I'll say background is primary. So now we want our background color is primarily as part of our design. I saved it. I'll go and refresh it. And now the background color is changed to the primary. I will leave the color for the text at this stage. So first let me create the layout and then we can do the style for our rest of the uh, elements here on the nav bar. Okay, so back to the Figma. Under the nav bar, I want to create a web banner. I will create an other rectangle in within my box of 12 columns and I can give it a custom height based on our design. For now, I will just say 600. So the height is 600 and the width is 1120. Okay, so 1120 is the size for our uh, 12 columns. Okay, so I have created one layout or one box, which is my row. In this row, I will create two columns. So again, I will go back to the rectangle. I will create another rectangle. Let me change its color so I can see the difference. Okay, so for example, this red. Okay, so I have two columns end to end for understanding okay so this is first column um i will press option button on my keyboard click and drag so i can create my second column so now i have two columns i will go back to the html and i will try to create a row and then two columns so back to the html i also added a line here the comment line a line which says the starting nav bar here and then at the end i say uh, nav bar and save so after the nav bar i will create a new container remember we are building our website in a box so which is container so i will create a new division a new div i will give it a class name which is container i will close that div within that div i will create another div and this time the class will be row because we need to create a row Within that row, 
I have to create two columns. So first I will create a div class name will be col the column and this is the first column on the left side. I can add a heading here so I can see on the web page as well. This is left side column. Okay, if I save it and go back to my web page, I can see that this is left side column. This is one column. So we have to create the second column within the same row. We will create another div. We give it a class which is again column, col class for the column. Within that, we are going to say the h1. This is right side column. Okay, I save it. I go back to the website and I see we have two columns. So in our Figma design, we also have given its uh, height and then uh, its uh, color as well. So the width will be automatically defined because we only said two columns and because we are working on 12 column website so when when i created a column here it automatically uh, defined or assigned six columns to the first uh, to the first div and the six columns to the second div okay so to add the color i will be working here in my div in future we will create a css file for our whole website to create that now i will have to add a new uh, new class in it or new id uh, class in this case and then for that class i have to write my custom css for now we are using css from uh, bootstrap and bootstrap has their own class called call and they have their css so i will be working here in uh, inline css so i at least i can understand a little bit here and then we can work into creating in, in future videos we will um, create a new css file and then bring all of our css in that file okay so to add style here or css here i have to use the code uh, style and then in style i will say background color and now background color i have to get exact same color what we have in our design so i click one of the column here on the color i will copy this color and go back to the code and i will paste it here so now i have exact same color i have to add the hashtag okay so now i have exact same color for my background i will copy this code and i will paste that in the next column as well so the both column have the same color because this is what we did in our color in, in, in our design okay so we have two columns and then we have uh, said this is left side column this is right side column but both are showing in one row in and there i can't see any gap between the two columns but here on the code i can see a gap so we have to figure out that how much gap do we have between two so i have brought two lines here grid lines and the first line ends at 710 the other one ends at 7 starts at 730 so that means i have 22 pixel uh, gap between two uh, between two columns so let's go back to the code and in the column i will say or uh, in the row i will say uh, I will add style and I will say column gap and we have 22 pixels. So in our row, whatever columns we make, we want a gap between them of 22 pixels. This is what in our design we have. So when I refresh this page, I can see gap between the two columns. So now the next part I want to do is because in our design, we have a height which is 600 pixels. So I will give the height in the co column, uh, like not, not in the row, in the column. I will say here in within this style, I will create a new thing, which is height. And for height, we will say 600 pixel. That is what in uh, we have in our design. So when I refresh it, the both columns, they have got this height. Okay, so now, 
I haven't defined the height to the second column so because this is in one row it is going there but if I say the second column let him try this if it works so if I say height and to this I say 300 pixel and I'm sure it will change to the 300 not the full height so now we have defined the height for the second column which we say okay now this will be 300 pixel so I'm going to remove this for now and I will say 600 for now okay so now we have two columns and then we have their height we have the gap between the two columns we have our nav bar and this is what we have designed so far the st let's continue with my design in the figma and i say okay after that let me increase the height of the page so i will select the page and i will just simply drag it okay so now i have increased the height of my page okay after that i want to create another row okay so this will be another row in the box and i can say its height is 500 so again height depends on our size so this height uh, this row i want to create three columns or three cards where i i can present my my services so first let's add a heading into it i will just select a text and then i will add all of my services for example so we will write the content as well so i will increase the size of this uh, say like 48 for example the text size increased 40 and then i will make it bold okay uh, the, i'm giving myself a hard job because it's easy when i do hair click and then change the bold it change the size it change the colors but when it goes to the coding it will be a bit hard for me okay so let's leave it the regular for now and the size is 48 or i can say 64 whatever is font size will be 58 okay so now the third uh, the next part i let's say i can create like for example three columns or uh, three uh, boxes here where i will add my services so again i pressed option button and click and drop i and then I, if i press shift as well it will go in the same line okay so the new column here it is actually doing it uh, i forgot to change the color so that's why it's making uh, it's not making uh, it's not showing us okay so i'm sh going to change the color okay so this is the size I need to adjust it, whatever it is according to my design. So I will go to, when I say I need to create three columns, so I need to do my math as well. So we have 12 columns. So the three columns means four columns each. So one, two, three, four column. And then I will go to the second four columns and then the last four columns. Okay, so now again, the gap between our uh, columns is 22 pixels. It will stay same and then we have three columns so i'm going to go into the code and i will create them okay so in the code after the first uh, container we have for uh, for the top banner i will add a new div and i will call it row uh, for say container And then after container, we have a div class row. And then again, we have to give it a style, which is column gap, which is 22 pixel. So we know we did this previously. Okay, now this time we are creating three columns. So if I say div class call, this is one column. I copy it and I say third I say three uh, three times so now I have three columns if I go back and ch copy this color uh, this color code so I don't have to type it again okay so now we are giving color code to all of our three columns so we can see this in our design if I refresh it now I have three new columns the reason they are 
touching the top three columns because we have not give, uh, given them any margin or anything and I noticed that it, it is getting the height of those because we copied from the top it's giving the height of uh, from the uh, from the above so let's go back to the uh, to the figma and now i need to get what is the height of that so this the height for this design is 394 so if i go back to the code and i say 394 for all three of them Okay, so now I have given height to all three boxes and I have made some mistake. Okay, so container and then we have background and then column gap. Yeah, I have 394, 394. Okay, so on the container here, I can say here style and I say margin and to the margin on the top side, I can say 50 pixels. When I refresh it, I can see the difference between those columns. Okay, now our size of the boxes is changed to 394, what we did. And then we have a margin on the top. And then before that three columns in our design, we had a heading. So I will go back to a, in the row before the columns, I can add H1 heading and I can say all of my services. So when I save it, now we have a text saying all of my services. So the layout is done. We have created a nav bar and given it a color. We have created a row and then created two columns in it. And given the gap between the two columns, we have created another uh, uh, container row. And then we added a new heading into it. And then we created three columns for the services are whatever I will be adding into those three columns okay so I will leave it here for today so we have got some idea of how we can create our uh, uh, our layout in the HTML and then we can see how this works in the future as well we will be adding more things into it so I will leave it here for today and then we will pick it from here tomorrow and then I will continue creating this layout and then I will try to add more content into it. I will change the color scheme as well. This is not the perfect color scheme. And then we will be fixing uh, the errors or anything, the bugs it comes in, in our code. So I will try to clean my code as well. So this is it for today. And if you have any suggestions, recommendations to improve this code, comment in. Uh, you can you can let me know in the comments as well and that will be helpful in learning for for myself and for others as well thank you